What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing tonight? Welcome to the live stream. Excuse me, we've got a few new interesting items out here that you've not yet seen me unbox on the channel, but will see soon. And let's see, make sure, make sure that I am muted on my end and pass the thing. Okay, good deal. Hello, what's up? And uh, Dark Rogue 85, what's going on? Um, I'm trying to make sure that we are. Yeah, okay, good deal. Paul, what's going on, man? Um, good on the TV, okay. And sorry, the arm's shaking there. Sometimes that camera adjustment just doesn't work exactly the way that I want it to. But I've got the the modded D4 V2 out here. That's the thing that's rotating colors. We're going to talk about that. Um, and then I've got some, let's see, QSP Penguin. I've got the budget version of the uh, Designs Digin or Jin or however you want to say that. Pretty interesting. And then I've got some concept knives out here, which were pleasant surprises. Not to say that I expected them to not be good quality, but ah, I was very pleasantly surprised. I was I had an idea of how they were going to feel in my head and how the designs were going to kind of be, you know, feel in terms of execution. And uh, they exceeded my expectations. So we're going to talk about those tonight. Brewhound, what's up, man? Kyle Roberts, hello. Blame Rex, what's up? John Wright, hello. Michael Fernandez, thank you so much for that donation. That was very kind of you. Always appreciate it. Donations during a uh, live stream always, always go right back into the channel. So that's fantastic. As you can see, Super Chat is up, so if you guys want to take advantage of that, uh, you are certainly welcome to. And if you'd like to join Knights of the Round, which is the, um, that's the um, uh, channel membership that gains, a gains you access to those little uh, helmet badges next to some of my uh, members here, the, the names of the people in the chat. You also gain access to the exclusive emojis, which they can show off if they'd like to. All you need to do is pull open the description of uh, this live stream and click on the very first link that you see that says become a member of my channel and there it should take you to the memberships page all right let's see here do i watch basketball yes i do i am a diehard kansas jayhawk basketball fan for sure i don't watch nba and honestly i don't want i don't I, I really won't watch any basketball games outside if ku's not playing it's not likely i'll watch unless it's Maybe K State, maybe Wichita State, you know. Oh, hey, Michael Fernandez. Welcome to the Knights of the Round, buddy. Uh, all hail, Michael Fernandez. Let's raise our swords uh, uh, in, in welcome, absolutely. Uh, Michael, enjoy the badging system and enjoy your exclusive uh, Excalibur emojis that you can find now with the little emoji icon. Hey, you guys, do you know what I just noticed? Al the Science Pal. Your helmet upgraded. It's red. That's the first time I've seen the red helmet. That means that we are at the six month mark for those members. Uh, congrats to I mean, congrats to everybody. Uh, you know, if you recently had a uh, helmet color change, but yeah, the, that's the very first time I've seen the red knight helmet in chat. So Al the Science Pal has been a night of the round for night of the round for six months. That is awesome. There's only one more color, and that's gold, and it changes after uh, it changes to uh, gold after one year. So Al the Science Pal at least is at the uh, halfway mark. Very cool. The Knife Guy fifty six. Hello, Seth Rubin. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it was that long. That's that is crazy. I can't believe. We started that membership program six months ago. Holy cow, we have at least one other KU fan in here. Executive Milk, Rock Chalk for sure. Awesome, Super K in here. What's going on? Uh, it's an acorn, not a helmet. <laughs> you can't change my mind. Yeah, that's... <laughs> acorn Knights is the thing now. I don't know how this... Pickle Knights and Acorn Knights are the thing. That's, I mean... The whole joke is, is that I play on the whole ultra serious epic theme, and then it's not serious at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that is, whoever said that first, I remember that. Is that. How do I get the acorn beside my name? I can't remember what live stream it was, but I just, I died. 
favorite knife of 2020. Oh man, that's tough. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll tell. I'll, I'll try and tell you right now, but it's subject to change because I won't do that video until December. Like my top ten favorites of 2020. But number one favorite knife uh, for 2020. Okay, so like tentatively. I'm thinking it's going to be the 2020 variant of the Evo Typhoon. I know that that's basically the same design as the 2017 model with some new blade shapes, but I'll finish that question in a sec. Tristan Murphy, thank you so much. At least 60 people watching and only 14 of you have liked the video. What's up with that, y'all? I agree. Thank you for the uh, <laughs> thank you for the uh, donation, Tristan Murphy. I appreciate that. But yeah, what's going on here? 81 people and only 32 likes right now? Come on, come on. Don't you guys care about my ego? We do this every time. I, I love doing the, you know, keep cracking the exact same jokes all the time and stretch them out as long as possible. Yep, welcome to the Metal Complex YouTube channel. I uh, am not good at coming up with fresh uh, jokes for y'all. Not at all. But yes, if you care about my glass ego, please like the live stream. Russ Cagle, hey, what's up? And let's see here. M says, we don't like you. <laughs> well, I appreciate you hanging out in my live stream, despite not liking me. That's very, um, that's very passive aggressive of you. <laughs> uh, there's one reason not to like me. Uh, I have a hyena laugh. Yeah, don't know what, I can't do anything about that. Um, let's see here. Oh, you're liking the Kubi one. Hey, that's awesome, man. Good deal. That's great. That's uh that's that's probably one of the best knives that they or it's one of my favorite knives they make for sure. Uh is it the 237, the one with the Tanto? Is that the one that you won? That's a great knife. Uh H Mahaffey, hey, no problem. I'm glad you popped in for sure. Uh what knife would you recommend to use while eating my Subway sandwich? Uh, unfortunately, probably the Spidey Chef. But I don't really like it. Uh, no, you know what? I I would recommend the SE5 for um, eating your subway for you know cutting your subway sandwich first. It's got the perfect blade geometry for for uh, splitting your subway sandwich into halves or quarters. Uh, why? Why? What's going on with that person? Is there an issue? Hmm. Is there some salt? Can't see him. Not even there. I don't even see him. Ah well, if it pops up again then we'll we'll see. I'm not usually one to be phased. And that's because I usually hydrate. Oh, oh he no. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Aster? I don't know what that means. Got a dilemma. Jurassic or Gen 63.5 inch? Please assist. Oh, oh, Gen, Gen 6 3.5 inch. I was like, what? Generation 63 and a half? <laughs> I missed some stuff. Um, let's see here. So, truthfully, the Jurassic is uh, a, a much more ergonomically friendly design. Um, the Jurassic is probably the the most organic feeling knife that hinderer makes um but the aesthetic of it is not something that i like as much as the three and a half inch i always tell people you know who are getting into hinderer knives the three and a half inch is a great that's like their main flagship design so you really get a feel for what hinder is all about with the three and a half inch and then if you want to you can expand and try some other things but if you're looking for like the best like most comfortable tool to use the Jurassic is the most comfortable knife in their line. Three and a half inch has corks, certainly some flaws uh, ergonomically versus the Jurassic, but the three and a half inch is the one that I always tell people to uh, to uh, start with. By the way, yeah, we have another knife that we're going to be giving away. I didn't even mention that we're nine minutes in. There's a knife in here valued at under $100. Uh, at uh, 9.50 Central Standard Time, I will be unzipping this pouch, and the very first person to guess what it is We'll win it. That's what we've been doing here lately, and I'm going to keep doing that. So, yeah, there you go. All right, let's see. 
Uh, MC, do you still have an, an off-grid Viper? I'm looking for an update on, uh, on one. Um, yes, I do, definitely. Uh, that's a, it, it's a cool knife, Def. I wish it was just a little bit bigger, um, but it's a great knife. Um, review is, God, I think it's coming. I can't remember if I've uploaded that or not. I upload so much, I forget. Crazy. It is not an, an Espada XL. Generally, I don't give hints, but I can say confidently there's not an Espada XL in there. <laughs> what's, what's my favorite Benchmade knife? Uh, it's a toss-up right now between the Super Freak and the uh, Mini Crooked River. I'll get mine out. These are the two greatest knives that Benchmade has ever made. Right here. Best ones. Actually, you can find them right down in my description in the Benchmade section. If you want to check them out. That blue one's from the custom shop, though, so, you, I mean, that's something you have to build. Uh, let's, uh, oh, hang on, let me... Let me read here if there's any questions before I start yakking about concept knives here. Um, pouch is bigger on the inside. <laughs> uh, we want the tough light. The tough light. So the 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 uh, the tough light has um, kicked the bucket. I I uh, have damaged it beyond repair, but that's okay. I've had it for a long time, and I was being stupid with it, um, and I was doing some heavy pry cutting and it, it was it whatever i'll get another one because i love that knife mc what's the next knife you want to buy aside from evo typhoon you've ordered um i haven't decided yet but um i i am going to be making another four to five hundred dollar purchase here soon and i my 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 mind always goes to hinderer first i'm kind of waiting to see like hinder is due for a new unveiling of something i just feel like i can feel like the air is heavy surrounding hinder knives right now i feel like something is going to come out and uh, i'm just kind of biding my time but i don't know there's some other stuff that i'm kind of i, I don't want to ruin anything but yeah there is going to be another major purchase here soon in the four to five hundred dollar range uh glock shooter 24 thanks for the donation should i buy a full track and then become available again also uh, do they tend to sell out quickly? So the full track is actually the the full track that we've all seen here, the titanium and G10 versions, I believe, is discontinued. So you're gonna have to kind of hunt one down either on the secondary market or in, there are a few left in odd corners of retailers. You know, just check around. Um, but um, I, I think there's a different version, or like an, maybe I've heard rumors of like an aluminum full track or a different version of the full track coming out. Um, but yeah, I mean the full track is awesome. It was just really expensive uh, Alice science pal you should watch the things you would do with your folding knife bot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. What is the knife right of the middle one? Right here concept cry out. What a great opportunity to talk about concept knives so I linked these down in the description underneath. Number, we're going to talk about my flashlight here. My flashlight's linked down there too, right below where the uh, the link for the membership program. Where if you open up the description, uh, the first few links are membership program, the flashlight, and then concept knives. I linked. To, I don't normally, you know, like highlight links during live streams, but I was so impressed with these three. Concept knives contacted me and said, "Would you want to take a look at some of our models?" Here's what's available. You know, if there's something you're interested in, let me know. And I said, the Warrior, the Shard, and the Cryo, for sure. And all three of them are very impressive with the build. These are around the $200 mark. S35 VN and Titanium. But as you can see there, reverse flick on that guy, no problem. No double clutch. Nice and smooth. Nice and snappy. This, these come in a wide variety of different colors and anodizations. This is such a good knife so good the lady who designs these came from kershaw so there's a little bit of kershaw but it's like kershaw or i'm not kershaw kaiser she came from kaiser there's a little bit of kaiser but it's like kaiser plus plus that's what it feels like to me not to say the kaisers are not high quality they are um but these are oh man these are nice um this is here's the warrior picked it up in satin and black titanium bolsters and carbon fiber very nice my favorite of the bunch though 
by a long shot is the shard this is so good it's so good and there's a timascus clip on it this thing comes in at like two i don't know the camera is like 220 timascus clip then they have a 300 dollars version that comes with a timascus clip and this whole inlay right here that's carbon fiber on this one the entire inlay is timascus it's one of the least expensive knives with that much timascus on it that i have ever seen that's why i linked them because you can get that right now i actually requested that one and she said our warehouse is actually out of those and all the ones that are left are on blade hq right now and uh so my guess is when that one's gone it might not come back for a little bit but 300 bucks for this perfect inlay work timascus inlay full timascus inlay all the area that you're seeing carbon fiber and then a timascus clip and this blade profile and the tumbling that's on here nice light tumbling ah oh, this is good good knife absolutely um yes yeah i am almost at twenty six thousand. thank you i'm it's flying we're gonna do a special giveaway at thirty thousand. i got some cool stuff for you guys but um yeah pretty excited uh let's see here yeah hinder a mid track would definitely be nice absolutely What's the knife with the blue handle? This is the budget version or the less expensive version of the uh, Dam Designs Gin or Digin front flipper D2 and G10. Nice little. I don't. I, I said this the last time I talked about these. I don't generally like micro knives, but man, they did this really. Well. That's a nice snappy little front flipper. Really cool. Really like it. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Tristan Murphy, thank you again for the donation. What would be your most desired steel? For a new shaman sprint um a tie between rex 45 and maximum i don't know what i do if they came out with a um uh you know the uh, and I, actually i think isn't the rex 45 shaman coming is it or am i dreaming i can't remember i think if they came out with a maximum shaman it would be an instant purchase for me almost no matter what they asked for if they wanted 300 dollars for a maximum shaman a shamaximum Shamaximin, Maxim, uh, sh Mac <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, instant, insta buy. You want three hundred bucks? That's too much money, but I'm gonna, I'll pay you. That's, that's my, those are my thoughts on that. Rex Shaman came out. That's right, the orange one. But what's the new one in the micarta? Yeah, the Rexies are. You're right. You're right. So Maximit, Maximit Shaman. Give me a Maximit Shaman. Tumbled. Spider Co., stop making all your sprints in satin. They're too sharp on the corners. Tumbled, Maximit, Shaman, Instabuy, and then Flytanium. Let's go with those titanium scales. I will absolutely pay, I'll pay 100 bucks for contour or titanium scales through, through Flytanium and whatever Spider Co. wants for a Maximit Shaman. Um, and I will create my ultimate Shaman. And then I'll send it off to have the scales textured. Z-Wear, that's what it is. That's actually pretty tempting. I don't care so much for the scales they're going to put on it, but the Z-Wear Shaman is going to be, um, that one's going to fly off the shelves. I'm going to try to highlight that one as much as possible in the coming weeks, because I don't know when that one's going to drop, but I know that that thing's going to be gone quick. So I'm going to try and cover it so you guys watching my channel will have a decent shot at it. That's all I can do, because I, I, I have no inside information, truthfully, none not not important enough <laughs> um let's see here yeah k390 is wicked i've been beating up my k390 ladybug on my keychain every chance i get just powering through everything k390 is great shamaximit there you go and actually i'd like to see a uh i'd like to see the shaman in the tanto grind like they did the pm2 but i wanted maximus so uh, uh, Shamaximanto. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Make it, Spider Coach. Shamaximanto. Please. Charge me whatever. I'm actually, that's not funny because I don't, I mean, people don't like the price hikes, but um, yeah, that would be. Can you imagine what that would cost? A US made compound ground Tanto Shaman in Maximate? Yeah, that's an expensive Spider Coach for sure. 
Uh, that hinder is on point. Which one? Both. You like those? Thank you. This is still the unnamed um, XM18 three and a half inch uh, Gen 6 non flipper Fullard Spear DLT trading exclusive with my titanium scale, my unmilled OG titanium scale, which is not going to be something that you see anymore. All the new ones are going to be milled. That's why I've held on to this one very much like this guy because the detents lightened up and you can do all that fun flickage with it and then of course the dark horse xm24 spanto with the blacked out hardware and textured carbon fiber scale with the uh tumbled uh stonewash dlc i guess what they call it not a common knife that is why i'm hanging on to that one absolutely tristan murphy thank you again very, very generous of you, man. Send you twenty dollars if you if okay. Oh, I I feel bad. I like that's that's tempting, but I don't want to make it sound like I'm. I'll let people name my knives if they pay me. Like I, I'll tell you what. You you can throw a name at me, and if I like it, then I'll name it. And then if you feel compelled for any other reason to donate any amount, including zero then you can do as you please. I don't want to push you to do that. <laughs> How about that? Does that make sense? MC, does the nub bother you? On the Shaman? No, I I forgot about that. Completely. It's not... My, hand, my finger naturally moves out of the way now. It's just an organic movement. Doesn't bother me at all. Name it Roll the Bones? What's that a reference to? Excuse me. <clears throat> Silver Surfer. Yeah, a lot of people want me to call it Silver Surfer. Can you buy the Tough Light? Dude, I mean, it's it's basically, it's cracked, man. Um, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't want that anybody to, you know, I'd feel bad like you might uh, accidentally cut yourself because it's not, the structural integrity is gone. Hank. <laughs> We should auction off naming rights appropriate, of course. Ricky also rocking that red helmet. What's up, Ricky? Ricky was the, uh, so on day one of the membership program, I had six people join. I can't remember if Al the Science Pal was one of those six, probably. Um, I, I feel like maybe he was. Yeah, I feel like Al the Science Pal was one of the first six, but Ricky and Al both rocking those red helmets. Very cool. And of, of course, those of you with blue, green, purple, also very cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that I, I thought so. Okay, <laughs> Tristan. Here, I'll send half now. And if you use it, I'll send the rest. Silver Bullet. What does everybody else think of Silver Bullet? I feel bad. I feel like I'm like, ch like charging you on a like something that I will consider. I feel, I actually feel bad about this. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Love it. We all know it needs to have pickle in the name. <laughs> that sounds good. Silver bullet. Thumbs down from M. Hello all. Like it. Not the same name as Coors Light. <laughs> oh man. I didn't think about that. I'm not a Coors drink. Oh, see. So I, I mean, I'll 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 drink Coors, but it's not it's it's far from my. I mean, I'm a Bud Light guy, so I I just realized the joke there. <laughs> oh man, Floydian, what's up? I mean, all right. If you guys want me to call it the Silver Bullet, then I get I'll refer to it as the Silver Bullet. And Tristan, you don't have to you don't have to feel obligated to send the other half of that. If uh, if people like that, that's what we'll call it. It's a reminder that I named my hinder after one of my least favorite uh, light beers. <laughs> Ghost horse sounds effing cool. Ooh, got my got some chills there with that one. The the the, the what's another name for horse? Not steed, not stallion. Has to has to roll off the tongue. Ghost horse is close, but the st and then transitioning from the st to the h is a tad awkward. We need a we need a uh, we need another word after ghost. Uh, that that means horse. Ghost nag. 
<laughs> it's a Naga. The Chrome Pony, Ghost Pony, Ghost Rider, Ghost, uh, Ghost, uh, Ghost Mount. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty close, man. I'm getting some World of Warcraft vibes from Manuel Fuentes uh, suggesting their Ghost Mount. Um, Ghost Mare. Man, we're close. This is it's getting cool. I mean, we called the Silver Bullet and Ghost whatever, but this is just fun now. Ghost Mustard. <laughs> Uh, ghost dang ghost cult ah man equin spirit or spirit like the moon ah uh, man so i'm loving all i'm th these are super good suggestions thank you for the extra donation i feel bad that i'm like pulling away from your suggestion now um Equine, Equine is a horse. Okay, Ghost Stallion is close, but the ST transition to the S. Pickle Pony. <laughs> no, no real effort from Kyle Roberts, just forcing that that pickle in there. Oh my word, choice! Come on, come on. Complex Ghost Mare is really nice. Ghost Mount, Ghost Mare, and any something to do with Equine or Equine, however you pronounce that. Ghost Stallion. Ah. Uh, Dang, Spectre. Man, this is fun. Look at all these suggestions. <laughs> Moonstalker's cool. <laughs> oh, man. I'm I'm into the ghost thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Name it Excalibur because you're going to give it to me. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to... Uh, this guy's really a, a big winner. That's These two, that's why. You guys have noticed. That's why I've hung on to him. For so long. Um, man, we're so close with the, the ghost thing. Ghost Mare and Ghost, uh, ghost Mount were like really, <laughs> really interesting names. Well, I can't do Shadow Horse because this one's Dark Horse, right? But that was a play on words because I wasn't expecting that. This one came out of nowhere, which is close to the definition of the, the term dark horse butt stallion <laughs> uh, shadow donkey <laughs> these are I'm kind of liking the funny ones oh man white knight the phantom silver point all right let's let's tentatively say let's tentatively say silver bullet slash ghost something it can have two names but I want to talk about this flashlight, for, for gosh sakes. All right, so this freaking guy, when I unboxed it, I had the long body on it. And now I've got this short tube made out of titanium. Not expensive. The parts for this are not expensive. Uh, I am ab absolutely obsessed with these rotating LEDs. It, these are so cool, and they look amazing with the lights off. Can I turn Let me cut the lights. Oh my gosh, they're so bright. These things are so cool. And when you when you rotate it, it does this awesome like rainbow change effect, right? And you can cycle through and, and stop it on the one that you want. So if we went with like that, for example, right? Super cool. Or you can hold it and it'll rotate and go back to rotating. But I just I love these um I love these these LEDs. I just, I'm so, I'm just obsessed with those. That is such a, uh, an interesting thing. You can pick this up. I linked the guy's door on eBay because he ships from Hawaii and the other places you can find this on the internet. Uh, they, it takes so long because it ships from China. I'm still waiting on four flashlights. It's going to be like a month. This guy, the guy on eBay got this to me in one week and it was perfect. You can, you can find that down in the description if you like stuff like that. Yeah, sorry about that for everybody who's watching in that rainbow flash. <laughs> uh, the lightning mode? Yeah, I love that. Actually, you guys want to see that? It This this uh, flashlight will simulate a lightning storm. Let me get it out of lockout mode re real quick. Okay, so I think it's one, two, click. Yeah, so here it's going to simulate a lightning storm. It just flickers at random, at, at like random... Um, at random uh, power, like it, it does exactly what a thunderstorm does. It's just random and varying amounts of light. Sometimes it's dim and like low, and then every now and then there's like a big burst or a big flash. 
and it is so cool. It doesn't serve much of a purpose, but it's neat, and it's got a bunch of different weird strobe modes. Like, it'll simulate a candle, so if you're in a tent or, you know, you're telling a ghost story or whatever, my son loves candle mode and lightning mode. He thinks it's so cool. We play with that thing all the time. Love it. I'm going to take that back off of lightning mode because it's going to mess with people. I'll put it on the low. See, here we've got low rotating LEDs. So it's just barely on green, and it'll change here in a sec to, there we go, blue, right? So it's doing that. Actually, here, um, one, two, three, four, lockout, there, back to the high LED. Two different rotating modes of LEDs, whether you have it on the regular flashlight mode or lockout, which is like a safety mode. I don't want my kids blowing the crazy high, you know, flash in their face if I leave it hanging around. How much is it? Base model, 60 bucks. And it's uh, the same thing as this. It's just a little bigger, and it's an all-aluminum frame, which is fine, but it has the same rotating LEDs, same power output. Maximum power output on these, if you get the right one, I think is 4,500 lumens. Uh, it will definitely catch things on fire, so you got to be careful about that. It takes an 18650 battery uh, standard. It's got the shorter battery. I think it's an 18350 that's in it right now. Uh, let's see here. Wait, what's the name of the flashlight? It's the uh, MSR D4V2. Right there, can you see? MSR D4V2. Pick that up uh, using my link in the description. And that guy ships it from Hawaii, which is very fast versus the other options that are out there. 4,200 lumens, thank you. Yeah, they are. They're definitely cheaper from other places, but the original ones that I ordered, Zach, I'm still waiting on them. I've got a tight, I've got an all titanium version of this that I ordered, and honestly, I'm all for paying 15 bucks more to get it, to just get it and know that it's going to be here. I mean, I, you know, anything that ships from directly from China, there's a there's a small chance it's just not going to arrive. And so I, I'm hoping they still come, but I, I was happy to pay a little bit extra for that guy. Uh, what's the game today? Just be here at 9.50 Central Standard Time, which is in 18 minutes, and I'll unzip that pouch, and first person to guess what it is will win. Hey, there's 152 people in here. That's awesome. But only 82 likes. Huh. If you haven't liked the live stream yet, what are you doing? You should like that live stream. You should make me feel good about myself. Reaffirmation, right? What we're doing here is kind of weird. So we're all collectively, the likes are for everybody. We're all liking each other, supporting each <laughs> This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever said to get likes on a live stream. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, he is legit. 100% feedback. And he carries, he carries um, the Noctagon KR4. He carries the D4SV2. He carries this guy, which is the uh, FW3A, or in this case, the FW3T. He carries all the aluminum and titanium variants and the batteries and the custom parts. And he's got the crazy uh, lenses and all that different stuff. And he's got tons of all the different, you know, most of the different emitters, different colors, lots of stuff. That guy is worth checking out. Use that. I mean, it, I actually do have an affiliate program through eBay. So if you use my link, it does it does benefit my channel. But I told that guy, I said, I think what you're doing is awesome. I think your prices are fair, so I'm going to highlight you. I think your store is cool. Nice with Brooke. Give MC an ego boost, guys. We all know he needs it. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you for reinforcing my damaged, fragile ego. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. Concept, which concept? Um, concept Warrior. Take a look here. And again, these are links down below if you want to shop Concept Knives. Concept Warrior. Concept Shard, which is my favorite of the bunch, with the beautiful Timascus clip. And Concept Cryo. Excellence, manipulation, you know, with, you can get under that, that finger hole for the reverse flick, it's great. Hello, Corbin Stewart, hello, what's up? 
uh, yeah, the Warriors great, and they come in a def bunch of different finishes. And I mean, what you're seeing here is not the only versions of each, each knife. They come in a lot of different versions. I saw one that one of the shard that was green titanium and a copper inlay. It was cool. Here, let me move this guy back up. We're getting kind of wild there. Uh, let's see. Uh, the only watch that I'm currently interested in, it's it's because it's the only one that I you know, I'm really aware of in the higher end is the uh, Seiko Samurai that Nick Shabazz sent me. Um, I really like that thing, and I am, I'm, I'm considering making a purchase there. Considering it, I, it's one of the, it's definitely the nicest watch that I've ever spent that much time with. Do you, do I know if the L393 will take a hinder clip and, and uh, tab? Yeah, it will. It'll take a hinder pivot, hinder clip, and hinder filler tab. Absolutely. What time is the giveaway? The giveaway is at 9.50 Central Standard Time, which is in 15 minutes. Nice. I'm, I'm going to trust Nick on watches. Um, you know, like most people have said that it's a good watch for the money. I, I know nothing about watches. And that's, that is the only way that I would ever spend that much on a watch is, is having it recommended by somebody who knows infinitely, infinitely, actually probably most of the people in here know infinitely more than I do when it comes to watches. Uh, let's see here. I'm um, just reading through comments that I missed. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I highlighted on Sunday, I highlighted for those of you who don't know, and of course there are links for Hinder Knives right down below where you can check this out. You got to scroll down a ways and find the section I created for Hinder Knives. Rick Hinder uh, released through DLT Trading the No Choil Slicer in the skinny variant. So for those of you who don't like how thick Hinders can be behind the edge, they do have a Generation 6 XM18 3.5 inch No Choil Slicer that is the skinny model. So only 145 thousandths on the spine and it does get nice and thin behind the edge. There are a few of those left at DLT Trading. I've got an episode on Sunday highlighting those. So check that out if you haven't. Yeah, the QSP Penguin. Oh my gosh. This is running on Phosphor Bronze washers. Look at this. This is this is Phosphor Bronze. I mean, as far as I know, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think this is bearings. But seriously, look at this. Oh my gosh, what? This is like a 30... Thirty-five dollar knife. This is—it's not expensive, and it's—it's it's not like this doesn't feel like um, weight and mass of the blade and clunk. No, this feels crazy. It's really good. Yeah, that's that's seriously. I mean, the only thing that I've ever felt that felt like this was a Shira Groff. It was a Shira Groff that was on Phosphor Bronze, an old one. Can do the reverse flick with this guy. Forward flick. It's nice and solid. This thing is well made. Now, I handled a couple of brand new ones. They didn't feel quite like that, but they were very smooth. Uh, and I imagine it breaks in. Yes, the denim micarta is very beautiful. Yeah, 35 bucks on Phosphor Bronze. Crazy action. Unbelievably high quality action. The This is the closest thing I felt. I, I was so confused by this. I was like, this has to be bearings. Has to be. Uh-uh, it's not. I'll trade out all of my knives that are running on bearings. I'll trade them all out for phosphor bronze if they felt like that. If I could get my hinderer to feel like that on phosphor bronze, I'd switch it out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I have not made a review of the concept crowd yet. In fact, I haven't even shown the unboxing on the channel. You guys who are watching this right now are, are seeing these, uh, you know, kind of sneak peek. Oh, Tristan, you sent me this? Yeah, that's right. You did. And yeah, you were exactly right. You were 100%. I was not expecting that at all. Sorry, man. I got so many people who send me knives. I, I've got it all written down. Like the boxes to my right are all labeled with everybody's names, and their email addresses. That's how I keep track of it. Um, but uh, yeah, you were 100% right, dude. Absolutely. Thanks for the donations tonight, Tristan. That's extremely generous of you. You, you don't have to keep doing that. But it is very, very appreciated. That's it's really nice of you, man. Thank you. Um, 
You like the PM210? So awesome. Yeah, I was happy to do videos on that. I couldn't believe that unboxing of the PM210 got 30,000 views. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? My my uploads average in like a 24 hour period, they average like 1.5 to 2.5 thousand. So that random unboxing of that, that Tanto PM2, 30,000. I was like, what the heck? That's crazy. Uh, let's see. Well, people send me knives for review, though. I mean, that's that's the that's the thing, and that's what keeps the channel going. They don't let me. I mean, Tristan actually was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of stuff and give me a bunch of stuff, but that's usually not what happens. Thank you, by the way, Tristan, for all of those wonderful gifts. That was just excellent of you, buddy. Thank you. Um, but usually, people send me stuff. I review it. I send it back. I pay for shipping and insurance, and then I send a little bit of MC swag, some stickers, usually. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the the community, uh, the viewers of this channel are the 100% the reason that it is kept going. I I don't have enough access to stuff myself um, to to upload this much content. So that is, you know, people say all the time they're you know they're like you're one of the only people that's uploading this much. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have so many people willing to send me their knives, for sure. Yeah, you sh you should honestly, uh, Michael Fernandez at 30 35 bucks. Yeah, I mean, truthfully, I can recommend the Penguin. I'll, I'll Spoiler alert, I can recommend this knife to every person on the planet as long as it's legal to own where you live. Uh, it's, one of the, it's one of the best budget knives I've ever experienced. And I've handled some crazy... Man, my best budget knives of 2020 video is going to be insane. Because, I, I mean, the, this year for budget knives blew... I mean, like, every year, like, budget will gets better and better. But we took the biggest jump in budget knives in 20... I feel like you guys would agree with me. Those of you who like grab every cool budget knife that comes out, 2020 has been the best. We haven't. It's 2020 has not been the best year for the world for sure, but for budget knives, this is the best year by a long shot. And it was a huge jump. So many good budget designs. Absolutely. Does the Grand Razzle stand up to other knives in its price range in terms of action? Yes. In fact, the Grand Razzle was hyper impressive considering when it was designed how old the design is yeah it's the action is incredible a lot of it has to do with mass of the blade the geometry right but still i mean the the excess polishing the excess work they did to make sure that it was that smooth it's great kiefer another number three red helmet og kiefer i don't know if you noticed your helmet's been upgraded to the six month color buddy congratulations on six months and thank you for uh, remaining in the program that's awesome Chris says, hey, if you haven't shipped me the Golden Knight sticker yet, just throw it in with the Gene Ping when you send it back. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, did you win one of the hollow ones here recently? Is that, was it, were you, or, you, or was it your other Golden Knight sticker? Because I, I sent the last standard one here recently, but if you won one of the hollow ones, then yeah, you'll, you will be, uh, you'll be getting that. Um, I can send it out quickly, or I can send it back with your Gene um uh, penguin for sure um, but yeah man and congrats on that by the way uh, he's not here for the giveaway just the pizza okay <laughs> and his image is of an acorn <laughs> let's see here what knife company uses tan knife pouches oh no yeah no the the pouch is the same pouch I use for every giveaway um, that's a Curtis Custom Knives pouch, but I promise you there's not a Curtis Custom in there. What time is it? A few more minutes. It's valued at less than $100. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to make some people laugh, but so, I think some people will be interested in uh, winning it. Un momento. have to get it. you got to rehydrate. My... Uh, Meat freezer is over here, and I was using it to cool everything off. Oh, those still aren't cold. What the heck? That needs to stay in there a little longer. Live in Kansas, so the basement meat freezer is full of beef. Because we uh, have been buying a quarter here every year or so. 
You don't have to do anything, uh, Donald. All you have to do is be here at 9.50 Central Standard Time. Look at all these people popping in right now, not hanging out for the whole live stream, just coming in at 9.50 because you know that's when I give it away. I'm going to have to start changing up the time for that. <laughs> Sounded like I died. <laughs> yeah, the, the lid of that gets frozen sometimes. This, 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 on the far left, this is the... Uh, Damn designs Dijin or Dijin. I don't know. I always I, anybody who's played Golden Sun, like the original one that came out on Game Boy Advance. I that's the first time I ever heard that word, and I always said Dijin, but I don't know how you pronounce it. D two and G ten, and then this is the QSP uh, uh, Penguin. Then this is on Phosphor Bronze and has absolutely drop shut action. <laughs> Thirty five bucks or something like that. Jin. Okay, thank you. Dire Straits, Jin, thank you. Uh, I was sitting on an MKM and our Vences, it's not Ambi. Been semi-listening at work for a while. Don't make the question super relevant to the conversation. <laughs> Late, but hey, what's the next, what's the knife next to the XM18? This one right here, this is the Concept Cryo, very nice knife, along with the other concept knives I've got out here. And once again, I'll mention that the concept knives link is right down in the description, so you can go see their whole line at Blade HQ. Excellent stuff. I uh, love it watching your videos. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that, Chris. I like making them. Not the Kershaw, the concept cryo. Uh, let's see here. Gin is good. <laughs> This chat thing is quick. I'm gonna play Golden Sun now after this. Yeah, Golden Sun was the best RPG on the Game Boy Advance by a long shot. If you like simple turn-based RPGs, you don't have to own a Game Boy Advance to play that. You can just get it. You can get an emulator and a, and a ROM off the internet for free and play it on your computer or on your phone. If you're on an Android, all that stuff's free. Game Boy Advance emulators and ROMs. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can download that and play it. It's a blast. Perfect game to play on your phone. Uh, Pocket Tank, thank you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Pocket Tank, you you've uh, you don't ever have to do that again if you don't want to, buddy. Uh, you've been very kind to this channel. Thank you. Very nice of you. Thanks for the donation. Uh, been looking for a Game Boy Advance charge for eight years. Download the uh, emulator on your computer or your phone, man. It's I mean you can get it on the app store. If you're on an iPhone, sorry, I you know Apple doesn't like you to have that stuff. But if you have a Windows computer or an Android phone or tablet, yeah, you can get one of those on the Play Store for free, and you can find a ROM on the internet pretty easily. It's very straightforward. It is not a difficult process. Coming from somebody who is not like tech savvy, it's easy to do. Been playing Pokemon Fire right on my phone a ton the past couple weeks. That's uh yeah that that's the the upgraded uh, version of the original. That's the game that that started it for me. That was my first Pokemon game. I bought that. I bought Pokemon Red when I was 11, I think. Oh, I can't remember. And I played it on the old brick Game Boy with a green screen. That big white brick that if you hucked at one of your friends, you'd send him to the hospital. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's 9.49. Okay. No, it's nine. It's 9.48 and 44 seconds according to the clock on my phone here. We got about 1 minute and 10 seconds before I unzip that pouch. You do it on a Windows phone. You should. I mean, I don't know. I've never used a Windows phone. If it's locked down like an Apple, then no. But if it's like Android, then yeah, you should be pretty easy. Um, Let's see here. Oh, Swig's Shank Shack. What's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. Our Swig. What's up? Uh, get a laugh out of that guy's Instagram daily. Always posting fun stuff. Always being positive and happy. I love seeing that. It's great. Almost. It says My phone says there's 197 people in here. It says only 179 on the computer. Kiefer says, I'm not a gamer for 237. Thank you very much, Kiefer. 
All right, 15 seconds, and I'm going to unzip this pouch. Now, I'm going to type the word go. Listen, I'm going to type the word go. I'm not going to hit enter yet. Now, listen, your guesses don't count unless they come after when I say go. So when I type go in the chat, any guesses that come before that do not count. So uh, after quit messing around, <laughs> Landon Waller's trying to ruin it. Any guesses before go don't count, right? So hang on, I'm gonna do the zip right here, and I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard. All guesses post go on the keyboard count. Ready? One, two, three. What is this? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> look, look, look at the, look at the blade. <laughs> yeah, it's not a CJRB. <laughs> there we go. Somebody got it. Okay, all right. Hang on, hang on. Let me go back. Somebody got it. Let me see. There's so many CJRBs. Oh, man. Uh, Rhea, Craig, Elementum, Tantu, uh, CJRB. Poopy boy. <laughs> Somebody's kiss. <laughs> nope, that wasn't it. Uh, hang on. Uh, LAPD, that didn't count. LAPGBDRK. What is the exact model? Hang on. Hang on, I'm Googling it. PG. LAPG knife. Yeah, I think that is actually correct. Hang on. TBFK. Hang on. Hang on, I'm still here. TBFK. The TBFK is no? That is that's right. The TBFK. So that means uh Knives with Brooke was close, but BDRK is what is the BDRK? Hang on. I hang on. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. I wanna be fair. BDRK. Should have looked that up before. No, that's not. That's just giving me pictures of pants. <laughs> those, those are those are LAPG uh, uh, pants. Uh, TBFK. The LAPG TBFK is the actual name of that knife. So hang on. Uh, the first person to say that. Let's see. I'm scrolling. Uh, LAPG. <laughs> Dang it! It keeps get, taking me to the bottom. Um, okay. The first person to actually say LAPG or to type LAPG TBFK looks like Franco Gadini. That's saying that sounds familiar. Did you win something else one time? <laughs> I'm looking through this, but I think it was Franco Gadini. Who just won that? Um, hang on. Who actually said it? I'm going to go back up to where I said go and check one more time to make sure. LAPG, LAPG, LAPD. So many of you guys were close. Manufacturer and model is what we always go with. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, it keeps taking me to the bottom. Gosh, bless it. Hang on. <laughs> I have to actually announce a real winner here. So I ha it has to be it has to be legit. Uh, LAPD, LAPG, LAPG, TBFK. Well, Lindy Lou had it too, but. It wasn't Franco Gadini. It, Lindy Lou, you might have just won again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh me, yeah, uh, one, yeah, Lindy Lou. I think, I think Lindy Lou actually won again. Is it? It's Lindy Lou. Okay, all right. You guys are way ahead of me. L Lindy won it. I'm sorry, Franco. Lindy, uh, you won again. <laughs> 
do you want this one? I mean, it said, it, I mean, if you, yeah, like you, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to put her on the spot. I'll send it to you. Uh, and uh, then whatever Lindy wants to do with it, um, she can do whatever she wants. Congrats, Lindy. Two in a row, man. Quick on the names. I watched your, Lindy, I watched your guys, uh, uh, interview with uh, Everyday City Carrie, and uh, it was funny that initially, you know, you you said that you weren't, you know, super into it, and then it just it got a hold of you. It must have really grabbed the hobby. Must have really grabbed a hold of you to be able to name that stuff so accurately, so quickly, for sure. Impressive. All right, Lindy won. So those of you who were just here for the night, oh, it's pickle time. Five minutes left. So you can crack your pickle jokes or continue to try to name my XM18. We have a kind of a tentative silver bullet and ghost something. Uh, somebody said ghost mare and ghost mounts, and I really like those two. So you can play on that, or you can just say whatever you want. This is kind of free time, last five minutes of the stream. Silver spirit pickle. Silver pickle, pickle pony, glitter potato. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this is so, such a tongue twister. Oh man, signaling mirror. The signaling mirror. <laughs> yeah, man in the sunlight. That This thing is so, so reflective. There's so much, like, especially that textured titanium. You get that out in the sunlight and it just... God, it's you know you can burn your eyes if you if it's like midday, absolutely. Um, pickle silver ghost bullet stallion donkey mount Steve. <laughs> Bright mare, that's a cool one. Bright mare, that's that's cool. That's uh, that was uh, interesting how you did that. It makes you it rhymes with nightmare, but bright mare. Man, I like that one minute knife video. That guy has a YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure. One Minute Night video. If I, I'm pretty sure we've talked about this in another live stream. You check him out. Check out his YouTube channel if it's the same person. Brightmare is very, very interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of leaning now towards Brightmare. <laughs> I really like that. Brightmare or Lightmare. Dark Horse and Lightmare. Ooh, that's good. Oh, I'm 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 playing. I I kind of stole half of that. Um, instead of bright mare, light mare. Yeah, I actually I, I feel like I kind of just. I mean, we can we can call it silver bullet because Tristan was you know being super cool. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, he's saying it. Tristan Murphy, thanks for the donation again, buddy. Hey, the shaman's now spirit Rex when it shows up. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But as far as like the naming process goes. Because this one is called Dark Horse, uh, I love the name Lightmare. And very close to One Minute Night video suggestion of Brightmare. But because we have Dark, I kind of want to do the opposite, Light, right? And they're both horse references. But this one, Lightmare, sounds cool because it kind of sounds like Nightmare. And that's just a cool whatever. Um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards Lightmare. What do you think of that? What does everybody think of that? You can tell me it sounds stupid if you want. I'm probably just going to do what I want anyway. <laughs> uh, the silver enema. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of really digging Lightmare for sure. Yeah, Lightmare and Dark Horse. That is a sick combo. Very cool. The final butt book. <laughs> Why do you, why do you guys, I need to stop reading these comments out loud. Oh my God. Shadowfax is cool. Shadowfax is very cool. It just the, the, like having them play off of each other with the words, it makes it fun. I'm down with the sickness for Lightmare. Nice. I'm a huge Disturbed fan. So I very much like that. Lightmare is cool. And I think it's important that we actually all i'm going to take tristan's suggestion there and the spelling he put it all together in one word just like how nightmare is spelled so that's uh, i think that is officially what i'm going for lightmare very cool <laughs> it's so corny epic but i'm into that i'm so into that if you guys have ever seen my instagram stories that uh 
promote the live stream. I am very much into the corny epic for sure. Um, people are still just... Kyle Roberts is also has the red helmet upgrade. That's cool. The dimple steed <laughs> because of the golf ball texturing. Corn grabber. You're not even trying, Tungsten Curbide. Oh my God, your name is awesome. <laughs> tungsten Curbide. I didn't even notice that. I, did, I literally did not notice your name uh, the whole time. That's funny. Uh, that's, that's awesome. All right, what are we at here? Ah, we're at an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the live stream. Two cent kefir with the random amounts. <laughs> Call it knife. That's a wonderful suggestion. The most accurate suggestion of the night by a long shot. Thank you very much, Kiefer, for your donation and very, very descriptive and just. I I don't even I, mean, I can't wrap my dialogue around how accurate that was. Thank you. All right. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Um. Uh, I'm reading to see if there's anything that I miss. Yeah, sorry, seems logical. But again, oh, important announcement. Next weekend, the live stream is not on Saturday. It's going to be on Friday again because of stuff. Periodically, I, I can't make it a dedicated Saturday night thing because we do stuff. You know, my, my family and my wife and I, we all we do stuff sometimes on Saturday. So if we have something planned for Saturday, I'll move it to Friday very rarely will we just not do a live stream unless I go on vacation or something. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, you know, next weekend it's going to be on Friday night at nine o'clock central standard time. So why can't you have no life at all? Just like us. <laughs> no, I'm right. Listen, most of my, most of my time, well, I would say about half of my time is spent. Half of my work days are spent on the channel for sure. Um, yes. All right. Anyways, <laughs> no, you guys are awesome. That's why I do the live streams specifically because the people who join the live streams are awesome. It's always, it's usually the same people, right? And you guys all have a circuit. I know you guys make the rounds and you do. Um, I think you got a lot of you guys hit Neves knives before you come here. A lot of you guys are on at Bruise and blades on, on slice Dice's channel. And you guys hit the, I always see the same people. So that's cool. I like that. That's why I do the live stream. So Anyways, thanks so much for stopping in. Lindy Lou, congratulations. I will. Um, uh, I still have your information from the last night if you want, so I'll just ship that out next week. And uh, I'll send a sticker. I forgot to send a sticker with the last night, so I'll send you a sticker. Anyways, guys, have an excellent rest of your Saturday evening and an excellent rest of your weekend. Bye.